The first Christian community in Ripon was here in 655, according to Bede. There were Celtic monks here from Melrose. Eata was the abbot and Cuthbert of Durham fame was the guest master. And according to Bede, Cuthbert welcomed an angel to Ripon unawares. On a snowy day, he welcomed this guy. He thought was a human being, but there were no footprints in the snow. And on the table were three newly baked loaves to say thank you from the visitor from heaven. So Wilfred came here as abbot and built a stone church in honor of St. Peter, bringing relics of St. Peter from Rome and he placed those relics under his high altar in the Saxon monastic church, which is possibly where um, the present nave altar is now. Wilfred gathered together a community of Benedictine monks. They sang the chant according to Gregorian tomes. They lived out the Benedictine rule, which we read before matins each day still, 14 centuries later, just to call us back to our Benedictine roots as a cathedral. These Benedictines were soul hungry. They went out in the earliest years to Southern England and then to Northern Europe to bring the gospel for the first time to the pagans there. So Ripon from the start has always been outward looking and had a passion for evangelism and for mission and sharing the good things of Christ, which we enjoy so richly here with other people who haven't got them. I'm very proud of that fact. Not many cathedrals can say that, that they were a great missionary springboard for evangelism. The Danes came in the 9th century and got rid of all the monks and burnt down St Peter's Church here. But very soon afterwards, the Archbishop of York, who lived in Ripon, uh, just north of the cathedral, rebuilt the building as a mini York Minster. And that's why Ripon, for a small place, has such a grand church, because the Archbishop of York used this church for his liturgies and ordinations and preaching and things. So, canons were gathered around rather than having monks. Before the Norman Conquest, we had um, residential canons of Ripon. So my job that I'm doing now here in you know, this day and age um, started off really before the Norman Conquest, possibly in the 900s. Um, a lot of our customs and statutes as a capitular body, that's a group of canons, goes right back to those earliest times. And the highlight of it all is actually the daily offering of prayer and praise and Eucharist, opening up God's word, caring for the sick and the dying, welcoming pilgrims and visitors to this holy house. So that's still our job and still our mission statement. Welcome, worship, witness is our kind of strap line, but that's still very relevant today as it always has been.